choosing uh, the right to food as an SDG um, would be important for that accountability that you speak of. But how would that be? How would that accountability be enforced? Should be enforced in the countries where people need most food, especially if we're talking about countries with large numbers of corruption and yes. many other structural yes. problems that yes. would yes. somehow create right. some difficulties to, to that. You, you are right. So uh, we need a workable democratic system and we need uh, that human rights uh, principles should be implemented and we have to look, we have to investigate whether or not human rights principle uh, in, or policies in relation to right to food or food security is going to right direction. So we need human rights impact assessment. That's a kind of system you have to look at various kind of policies whether or not government are following so that's why it's it's the it's not enough to put in your in your constitution uh, right to food and it's not enough to make a law framework law for uh, giving uh, that kind of right to people but implementation should be investigated it should should we enforce sanctions to the countries who didn't do it or how can we make them uh, change? that's a, that's uh, a very important uh, view of doing it if I would have a power, definitely I would implement this. But I think sanctions generally hurts people rather than governments. There should be some way to push the governments that they are not willing to accept this. Having said that, there is no government in the world clearly says that, oh, we don't want to feed our citizens. Everyone would like to. Uh, make the policies, but the other policies are very difficult. Uh, some countries that they are not able to make a policies that it is helpful to their citizens. For instance, if they really want to be part of the international trade rules, so then they can give up some of the policies, like like uh, making uh, countries self-sufficient because self-sufficiency is not uh, compatible with the international trade rules. So uh, many of the countries uh, giving up their uh, agricultural production because buying a cheaper food from the developed countries are much more easier for their budget. These are the problems that very much deeper than only you know, how we deal with the right to food. Should, should the UN and local governments be more demanding when it comes to control uh, and supervise anything that comes from countries in, in developing countries, especially when it touches mm. agriculture and the exploitation of small farmers and everything else? Well, uh, governments are in a kind of in tight rope. In, especially in developing governments, because developing countries are basically trying to get developed. They want to push growth rate should be higher. When you are worried about the growth rate, then you have to deal with the international economic order. If you say them yes, then you're going to lose the policies of the uh, food security and some environmental developments, environmental protection. You have to make the balance between the two. That's why developing countries are in terrible shape how to make, they're not very free. You know, economic globalization reduced the power of the government. They are in a sort of lose-lose situation because if they if they say yes to the global economic order, they lose uh, in the small farmers and in the people. But if they say yes to those people, they lose all the funds uh, that come from that system. And so it's harder to develop the country if there are no funds. So it's, it's but there are there are ways that you can really merge these policies. But you have to be a little bit more open open-minded. You have good examples of yeah, of course. Happened? Definitely. For instance, Latin American countries are very good at that. They are pushing small for, uh, farmers, smallholder farmers protection. They are making very good domestic politics in relation to uh, helping people. 
And uh, the agricultural system is changing right now in the world because of the sustainability problem, because industrial uh, agriculture is pushing very hard to resources like water and land and the seeds. But there, there's an alternative, uh, agroecology, what they call agroecology. This makes the agricultural production much more careful in a smaller scale, more uh, and the less uh, resource uh, intensive, and making um, not monoculture agriculture, but more kind of um, diversifying uh, the animal and the agricultural together food production, and the less uh, less chemicals, but more uh, natural uh, kind of fertilization. These are this can be the uh, respond to uh, good available food, but not a big uh, uh, kind of profit. So we have to give up the profit. We definitely can solve the problem and people really uh, work in a, and live in a more balanced way, but the corporations cannot make a big, big profit.